What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 17th WordPress theme development tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna quickly finish off with our black banner right there by actually making it dynamic and uh, changing this stuff from test string to whatever we enter inside our settings page so if I reload this and say this is a cool string and save it you see that it pretty much appears here but I want it to appear right here as well so the approach would be pretty much similar to what we have done right here so we have made use of this get option black box and pretty much I'm gonna make use of the same line inside here as well so it would work absolutely fine and the reason is that this black box is the name of the input field and uh, it's kind of unique so you, you have to make sure that you make this unique because you are just exposing it to every file in your WordPress so you gotta make it unique somehow so once we are done with this reload and here we go and uh, what you can do now is actually just check the font it is Georgia and uh, if I just google this font and uh, looks like it's not actually available for Google fonts so I'm just gonna prefer Google fonts for now so let's just look for another font which we can make use of and uh, let's just go with open sans only normal or maybe we could just go with bold for now and we just need this thing right there go to your header.php and you could actually make this stuff as well dynamic so here we go this is open sans and inside our style.css we can say that the font for this one is open sans and the second one would be the sans serif if the font is not available save reload and uh, looks like here we go so we could pretty much add a bit of more styles like font size 30 pixels or even 40 pixels and a light color something like that and I guess open sans bold is kind of harsh so let's just change it to open sans only so reload and here we go looks cool and you could actually replace this section from a string to HTML and actually this would probably work as an HTML as well so you could say like google.com a save this and uh, here we go there's a problem and if I reload this there's a problem too and the reason is that because we are not actually sanitizing before actually just writing it into our value attribute so you can do like escape attribute and I guess that would make it work save hit reload and uh, the gray banner you can see that link is there but since there are no styles associated with it so it kinda is just a bit shy so anyways you could probably just change it to text only and reload here we go nice and simple so that's all for this tutorial and from the next tutorial onwards I'm gonna move down a little bit more and uh, probably this would be our post sections so we're gonna retrieve post dynamically three at a time and uh, yeah so that would be pretty much it and uh, for this upcoming event we'll see how we can just code this out so if you like this video tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching